Oh, first chest of the day. Torag's helm, Guthin's chain. Wow. Oh my god, that's incredible. First chest of the day, man. Oh, they're both duplicates, but that's okay. I accidentally went through the door and came back and spawned a second Torag, and they're both attacking me. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Quit it! Quit it! They're both attacking me, man. You gotta kill me. Look, I got a double trouble. <laughs> Missed the recording there, but I went and baked a wild pie at the Nordok clay oven that took an extra minute because I had to go get my ogre bow back and kill some chompies. Kill a chompy for it. And other than that, I just cast cast Ice Barrage, and now I'm one level away from the 95 boosted requirement for Dragon Darts, one Thieving level away, and one Prayer level away. Neither of these two can be boosted, so... I'm pretty close to having this diary done, and I already have the KQ head, which is amazing. So it looks like uh, the Desert Diary is going to be the next one in line here. Oh yeah. I've been saving my limpwort seeds for a while, and I've just started planting them. And the first patch I got three from, I was like, oh, okay. From this one I just got, what is that, eight? Jeez, man. Hey, I just got 90 fletching. I missed it by a little bit there. I sort of had my eye on how many darts I had left and not uh, the XP, because I overshot it just a little bit. Oh, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Almost, almost all booms. Almost all booms. What can I say? So with 90 fletching, I can boost to 95 to make dragon dart tips in somewhere in the desert for a diary. And then I just need a thieving level and a prayer level. So that won't take very long. That's my next priority here. I'm just going to hit 88 agility to round off this level, and I'll come back to agility, I think, when I have more to fletch or probably stuff to alk because I'm going to... I think I'm going to start doing battle staves again relatively soon. Here's 88 agility. Nothing unlocked except uh, them dubs. Them dubs. Hell yeah. Time to move on to thieving. Dragon darts in the Bedabin camp, I do believe. I oh, got it. Ah, <sighs> yes, 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 yes. There we have it. Elite task complete. Just getting a random herb lore level here from cleaning some herbs. Look at that, 86. Ooh, a stamina mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just really close from using the elite diary lamp on it, so... I just decided to do this, and lo and behold, it was enough to get me a level. Cool. <sighs> okay. That could not have been any more sloppy, but one try, one kill. Let's see what we have in here. A couple hydro bones, staff. 75k. All right, fair enough. I tested out Hydra for a little while. I got about 22 kills. I think my best trip was a five kill trip. I think I could do better. Really not all too much I'd do differently. It's pretty fun though. I think they did a really awesome job with it. It seems just a little bit easier than Zolra. Definitely easier than Cerberus. Quite a bit easier than Zolra if I gotta be honest. It, it's a lot of fun. I'll be interested to do some more but for now, I gotta stay focused on skilling, man. I gotta get thieving level and a prayer level. Levels, man, I need levels. This guy, Chan Lee, is hanging out here at Farmer with his uh, earth staff. Just some cool guy. And he said, you guys are awesome. Of course, we both just immediately spinning around on him like, no, man, you're awesome. And <laughs> So we go, three cheers for Chand Lee, 24-7. Seluv Iron went along with me with this hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. <laughs> we did the full three cheers for him. What a champ. Let me see if we can see him here. Yeah, there he is. There he is. What a beautiful guy. Ma -ma -ma. Wrapping up 91 Thieving here. I'm gonna get the level in Pyramid Plunder while I'm doing the elite task. Of note here, I've got 86 Snapegrass Seeds, and uh, my buddy said from three seeds he got 40 Snapegrass, so that'll be interesting to see how many Snapegrass that turns into because I have uh, a good chunk over 2k now. 2k Ranar Weeds, that is. I got 92 Ranar Seeds. 
going from 89 to 90, I got 86, and so it seems almost proportional that I got 92. I got six more seeds. I got 16 Snapdragon, 28 Quorum, 6 Lantodime. I got a few Torstal as well. The hops, I've been... I had banked a couple times. I have way too many hops. I can do a birdhouse run on the timer for 35 days, I think minimum, straight without sleeping, just straight doing the birdhouse runs. Let's go get that level. I should open the chest too. Yeah. Wait, can you get the uh, scepter from a sarcophagus? I don't even know. I don't even know. I guess I just rushed to the 81 room because... I'll definitely ding 91 in there. Oh, I got 91 already. Oh, yay. I wonder if it's possible to get two Pharaoh Scepter in one run. All right, level 91 room. This is the big room. This is the special room. 800 XP per, holy crap. Wow, each one of these is worth 20 Master Farmer Thieves. That is insanity. That's insanity. It's crazy. I'm not even seeing any snakes, man. Where are all the snakes? I gotta get it. Boom. Task complete. One task left, baby. So I think I have just under the experience I need for 85 in Ensouled Heads. So I'm just going to stress-free burn through these heads real quick. I've got some Demon, Abyssal, and Dragon Heads to go through. I've got maybe 200 or so after these Dagonoth Heads, which I'm almost done with. And then just a few bones at an altar, and I'll be ready to complete that diary. This ensouled dragon is for 85 prayer. And I actually still have a handful of dragon heads left. For some reason, I was, I, I was thinking I'd have to go do a few bones at an altar somewhere, but check that out. 85. Nah, oh, I can make a spirit shield. <laughs> Let's go do that diary. Let's do it! Yes! Oh, yeah. Shanty Pass, here we come. Glory day, glory day. Oh, look at that, that is just stunning. I gotta go put my ropes down real quick, and I don't need Shanty Passes anymore, so I'm super cool like that. It's this, there it is, yes! Oh, yeah. Whee! Hell yeah. Permanent ropes, baby. Oh yeah, here's a little bit of herb XP. 50k drop. Oh yeah. Man, I'm having some ADD choosing what to do with fishing. I did barb fishing for like 20 minutes. I was like, oh no, I can't do that. I need to collect some fish. So I uh, found a bunch of karambwanji. How many, how many did I get? I got a ton of karambwanji. Enough to do the whole level here if I wanted to, but I don't want to, I don't think. So I caught 1400 and then I was looking and I if I just do minnows, it'll be about 5k sharks on the nose. I think I might try some minnows out for a bit. I'll probably end up bouncing around, so I'd expect some combination of Carambon and shark again. But yep, it's about 10 hours of fishing, paying attention from where I am now, so it's going to take me a little while. I feel like a bit of a scrub walking in here without 85 wood, without 85 farming. Uh, this is my first time in here. I believe... I need to locate the giant compost bin and put a bunch of my watermelons in it. Yeah. Ooh, this looks like it over here. People are just... Are people just dropping their snake grass, man? They are! Oh my god. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh, it holds 30. Yeah, I gotta go get another load. What is that? Flower patch. Before I plant anything, I should check out one of those contracts. Oh my god, and it's really bothering me that there's all these weeds. I have the... Uh, never weed so I just got I'm gonna rake a bunch of stuff I'm gonna rake it all you wanna hear my impression of ultimate Iron Man verf this is what you sub for premium raking content he sounds Russian when I do it in case you guys didn't know the raking meta if you have a full inventory your weeds will just go onto the ground so don't even bother dropping them in between rate patches that you're raking you know first contract will be for snape grass I'd like a farming contract. Medium contract, please. Atlanta dime. Okay. I don't know. I think you just... I guess you... What am I even saying? Oh, this is so exciting. I'm gonna get all this snake grass. 82 XP? What? That's a lot of XP, man. So I got 67 total. 33 and a half from each patch. I like that a lot, man. If that's about the average, I should get about 800 snape grass. Eight, 900 snape grass from these seeds. Yay. All right, completed my first contract for medium medium farming contract. Let's see what's in the box. Six calquats. That's 
Okay, I think. I have a bunch of these already, but I'll take a... Oh, I'm not done. Ooh, the potato cactus is kind of uh, rare, trying to get those from Master Farmer. I only got like four that whole level. What? We, th this thing has so many seeds, man. Thanks for watching the video, guys. It's really awesome of you. This week was really nice for the channel. I got like 40 subs or something. I did a little experiment with a ad campaign to just see how that all worked. But that's over. This week we got agility, thieving, fletching, and prayer levels. Really awesome. Finishing that Desert Elite Diary. So next week we should be able to wrap up the Mauritania Elite Diary. As well as maybe getting lucky at the Hydra Boss. Stay tuned guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll check you later.